this. Today we are looking at this bad boy. This is the Samsung SG8 F480T. The T stands for Telstra, as it says up there. Um, so I'm going to get the specs up. Um, Samsung SG8 F480. Um, so this is the Telstra exclusive model, but you can get. Um, you can get the a standard model, which looks a little bit different to the front of this. Different to the front of this. Uh, this has a leather case put in, but we can't take it off. So this is how it's going to be reviewed. So this came out in two thousand and eight, so a year after the iPhone one came out. So this is one of the first touchscreen phones out there. It's not the first smart. It's not the smartphone. It's the, one of the first touch screens reducing Apple technology. I guess you could say. All right, let's go for the I/O. So this is a 2.8 inch, 240 by 320 pixels. So not best for today's standards. Uh, so yep. So there's that. That's the front of it. Uh, as you can see, you got the answer and uh, hang up. By the actually, answer hang up and this is your uh, button to go to the different screen, other screens. Um, unfortunately, I can't turn it on. It's out of battery. It's been out of battery for years. And I don't know where the charger has gone, so I might show you some pictures on the net of what this phone looks like when on. Okay, uh, there you have your proprietary, proprietary connector. Now uh, that I'll have a flap, I think I'll rip, rip, rip off the flaps on here because they're a bit annoying. And you've also got your camera button, I believe that's the camera button. On the top you've got your lock button. Yes, this phone does lock. Yep, yeah, and on the back you've got your 5 megapixel 240p camera. It's also got a front facing camera. So this is the one of the first phones that had a front facing camera way before the iPhone 4 did. I think the iPhone 4 was the first one. Let me know in the comments if I'm right or not. I believe the iPhone 4 was the first iPhone to have a front facing camera. Anyway, yeah, this is there's the camera there. That is a VGA video call camera, so you can do video calls on it. Um, it's got a thousand million hour if you have battery. Anywho, so let's go through some of the specs. So it's 3.87 inches by 2.17 by 0.46 inches. So 11.6 millimeters. That's not classified as thin anymore. I mean, it's got a capacitive time screen, 256,000 colors, 2.8 inch, and then micro SD card slot up to 8 gigabytes. And originally it comes with 230 megabytes. But you can upgrade to 8 gigs, so there'll be 8.2 gigabytes altogether. You can put a thousand entries in and first photo call, our core records, and all of that. So, photo, so it's got autofocus and LED flash, it does face detection, WDR, or whatever that is, and it's 320p video, so that's not the best quality of video, but then, so you can do five. Vibration, download and polyphonics and MP3 returns. Yes, you can sort of access the internet on here. Um, I did that before. Um, I was downloading lots and lots of um, ringtones for this. There's a couple of ringtones on here. After such a video, find a charger, I'll turn it on for you and all of that stuff in another video. It has Bluetooth version 2.0 A2DP. Um, yeah. So the F480 was a pretty iconic phone for me because this is the first touch screen phone I actually used. This is was my granddad's old phone and then it got handed down to me and I used it as my daily driver for a couple for probably for like a year. Like I used to answer and hang up and all that answer calls and whatnot. I can't do that anymore because the SIM card expired, this was prepaid. And yeah. Feels nice in the head. It feels nice in the head, like make you feel it there. It's got a really strong, strong screen and all of it because I've seen it, seen it used, being used here. Uh, a driver performance. Uh, 
but my friend borrowed this fire, this very fire, and then threw it, didn't break. So yeah, that's it going to be it for the F480, because I can't really show you much of the software. Uh, most of it's for most of these devices, I can't really show much of the software. Oh yeah, now we're going to look at the pictures of it. So let's have a look at the pictures of the phone running. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me just quickly... Oh, I missed it. That's the phone we're reviewing. So see, you got the camera, you got the back camera, we got... Uh, what's that there? You got your volume buttons, and then you got a foot flap for your micro SD. I believe that's your SIM card slot, so that's for my SIM card set. And a 5 megapixel, yeah, five megapixel camera, and it's got a case on it, as you can see. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah, so sorry that you didn't see that. Anyway, let's switch on to face cam, and I'm going to show you. So this is what the UI looks like. This is Toco, I believe it's called. Uh, this is the touchscreen UI. And it makes all of these awesome sounds and whatnot. There's some app screen, so you've got your call log, your phone book, your music player, your browser, your messages, your files, your calendar, your camera, your Bluetooth, your application, your alarms, and your settings. And you got the like, widgets and all that. This. this is basically the first Android almost. Uh, I guess you can say. Now the colours, I believe it came in pink. It came in pink too. So actually, this is like the first version of TouchWiz that you can run. So this is the first smartphone, quote unquote. Even though it's not smart at all. Actually, no. So he's on the he's on the internet. It won't connect to Wi-Fi. You can't use the internet. I don't think you can use Wi Fi. But there's many different versions. There's many different editions to it. So you've got the Pink Edition, you've got the Hugo Boss Edition, you've got the Games Edition. I know you've got yeah, the Hugo Boss one, that was actually a pretty snazzy one. And you've also got the Telstra Edition, um, the F480i. There's a lot of different F4 Samsung's, Samsung F480s out there, guys. Like, oh look, they got the Rockstar and LaFleur La are each one. So that's cool. So they got the Hugo Boss. And then the Rockstar edition and all the S4, F480. The Rockstar's pink. Oh, I get it. So that's basically the pink edition. And the last flows, as you can see. And then I think it also came in. So the F480 Games Edition. So that means it's got tons of games, obviously. But there's tons of different versions, so it's basically up to you. But the version I've got, oh fuck, I can find of it, is that one. That's the version I've got, the F480T. Anywho, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, that's the F480T. If you want to pick one up, good luck. Good um, so you got the F480 ready run ready for room with, with other devices. Um, so this was basically the first. Let's turn my camera on. Okay, there we go. Uh, so this was the first. But this is one of the first touch screen phones before the iPhone. Uh, this is actually a really good. This is, was a really good phone when I had it. It does everything it needed to do. 
pay us. So if I go to F480, uh, you can pick one up for 30 bucks, which is the F480i, which is ice silver, which is this color, I believe. Yeah, this is ice silver, by the way. Uh, Optus, this was an Optus prepaid one. Comes in a pretty interesting box, but this is that's the F480i, which has the logo at the bottom too. Well, some versions of the F480 has the logo at the top. So if you want to pick one up, you're looking about 30 bucks. Or you got one forty five, two hundred twenty for a mobile phone kit. But I really need to get a new charge of this because I'm misusing this phone. So the unlocked one's thirty two dollars for the United Kingdom. So some versions definitely have the logo at the bottom, some have the logo at the top. Yeah, there's one with the logo at the top. So it kind of depends where you get it. It looks a bit different. So it's not just like iPhones, iPhones look the same everywhere. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode of Test Tag Reviews. If you want to see more of these operating system reviews or mobile reviews or whatever the heck they are, please make sure you check out the channel. Because uh, there'll be a lot more and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.